everyone, NeuroRebel here, and I was diagnosed autistic before turning 30. And that means I went almost 30 years of my life not knowing I was autistic. And one of the big aha moments for me when I discovered I was autistic was learning about stimming. And so for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, stimming is just one of the ways that autistic people express and regulate energy and emotions. For example, when I experience a very intense emotion, maybe extreme joy or startle or fear, uh, those emotions are often seen in my hands uh, as movement. Happy, 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 happy. Or, um, you know, I naturally, like right now as I'm thinking, I'm rocking back and forth and I'm moving. And when I allow myself to go with the natural ebb and flow of my energy, I am always in motion and talking with my hands and many other things. Uh, so that is one uh, thing that stimming is. Also, stimming can be certain types of behaviors that we engage in intentionally to soothe the senses uh, and to regulate energy. Uh, so, for example, I have these wonderful scented pens and I like to smell them. And they smell really good. And sniffing something yummy is a stem. Um, drawing and coloring for me is a stem. I would say, you know, enjoying um, fun visual uh, things that are visually pleasurable as a stem and it's just stuck because it's been sitting still. Um, but there are many other things that can be stems for when you're intentionally stimming because a lot of autistic people have realized that stimming is really great and now even non-autistic people are starting to realize that stimming is really great um, but autistic people we need to stem and we really naturally engage in stimming behaviors um, and so the other part of stimming that doesn't get enough discussion is masking and because autistic people are often constantly told, sit still, be still, quit fidgeting, some of our stems that are more obvious sometimes or are considered obnoxious by other people or noisy or disruptive may be put away in favor of stems that are less disruptive to the people around you. So like squeezing my fingers or I might clench my jaws, um, I may Typically when I do things that are less obnoxious to other people, it might be like scratching at myself or holding myself tightly or holding myself tense um, or biting my inside of my mouth. Those stims that I do when I'm trying to be quiet and still and not disruptive tend to actually be stims that aren't very good for me, like ripping off my fingernails and things that hurt. So it's much better to let my body just stim naturally. Uh, so let me know. Um, I talked a little bit about stem suppression last week and tell me about your stems this week. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.